Whoa, where are we? Whoa! Welcome back to Mail Time! Um, last time we played, my game kept glitching out, so now we're back. I have no idea what we were doing. Um, let's take a look. We still need to find Greg. Who is Greg? I don't know. Uh, and then we gotta find Kaz. Oh, we were delivering a letter to Annie from Haley. Okay, perfect. That's why we're here in the farm. Okay, let's go do this. Who's that male scout I see? Could it be Cupid themselves? You're the one to talk, Graham Graham. None of this would have happened without your meddling. Ah, well, I can't stand by and watch young love flounder. I met Egbert when I went looking for the nut that buried a nut on my property. And look at us now. So no matter if it starts with something small or a grand gesture, now that those two have made the first step, it'll figure itself out. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you're pretty wise, Graham Graham. I'm plenty wise, you little rapscallion. Well, since you're so wise, do you know where Greg is? Greg? Sorry, hon, it's not ringing too many bells. I know most people in the valley, but I don't think I've heard about him. Aw, shame. Thought you might know. Oh, well. You've got some smarts, though. I'm sure you'll find him soon. And good job today again. Love, doctor. That's not helpful. Does that mean she needs something? Hi, Annie. Oh, hello there, hun bun. What can I do for you? I want to hear my pastry tip now. Oh, of course. How could I forget? My great, 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 great grandfather taught me this one. It's a bit advanced. Go on. So what you want to do is when you have your pie all put together and ready to bake, I'm listening. You're going to put it in the oven. Uh-huh. And then what? You're going to want to turn the oven on. Otherwise, it doesn't bake and the pie will be soggy. No one wants a soggy pie. <laughs> Did she really just give us a tip to turn on the oven? Isn't that like a known thing? <laughs> oh, did you know that one already? Yes. Yes, we did, Annie. Honestly, can't say I did. She was eating raw pie. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't actually need anything from her. What we need to do is find Kaz. As you can see from the top left... All of our um, different things is to find Kaz. And they say he's somewhere with a blue windmill. I have no idea where that is. He's in a cave. But where? What if we go up this tree? Ah! Ooh! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! <gasps> no! Oh, brother. Okay. I'll try again. <laughs> oh, it leads to nowhere. <gasps> you got something new? Oh, it's you again. The scout that didn't win an autograph. Well, I'll show you when I win the running championship. In six weeks, my autograph will be worth thousands. Mark my words. Do tortoises usually win races? Nope. Tortoises are super slow. Everyone knows that. But don't worry about that. Because this lean machine... The <laughs> Because this lean, mean running machine is a 100% bona fide turtle. At least that's what my dad said. Oh, well, in that case, does this turtle often win races? Eh, no, not yet. I've really been pushing myself, but I don't think I'm going to get good enough in time for the race. Daisy the hare always wins, and even though we're best friends, I don't know, I guess I don't want her to think I'm struggling. But socks always get second, so they must know something. There's just got to be some kind of trick to running that I haven't figured out yet. Here, could you take this letter to Sox? It's a fake note, just a friendly checking up on the competition. But really, you'll interrogate them and get all the trade secrets. Sounds like a plan? Bit of a harebrained scheme, more like. Speaking of hairs, why don't you just ask Daisy for advice? Eh, maybe later. For now, here's a letter to Sox. Come back when you have all the secrets a runner could ever need. Who is Sox? Looks like a caterpillar. Okay. How are we going to find these mystery people? Maybe we should go back up there? I think that might be the plan. I found the caterpillar. You see him? Socks? Ooh. What's this? Grape soda? <gasps> Litter bug patch. Woo! Also, I found something in the tree over there that was sparkling. I'm not sure how to get there. Letter for socks? That me. Give here. Who? Who's, who sent it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's from Shelby. 
Shelby the turtle? Not no. Must not be important person. Oh, okay. What say? Uh, you want me to open the letter? Yeah, yeah. Socks no more toe. You don't have toes? Not since accident. Well, not accident. Long story. No toe, no grip envelope. Deanna, do. Open quick. But it's not Mail Scout protocol for me to open someone else's mail. Look like Socks care? Open fast. Damn, Socks. Shelby wants to know how your preparation for the championship race is going. Ah, running. Spark joy. But you don't seem to be doing much running right now, Socks. Did you forget how? Socks never forget how run. Grandpappy good runner. Teach Socks running fun. But he run too much. Break all legs. Huh? Oh, in there. <laughs> Grandpappy say run fun. Can no run no fun. Take easy also important. Capiche? I think so. You're saying that it's important to rest and not push yourself too hard? Cece. They're not quick trick to be fast, eat healthy, tie laces, sleep only on left side. None matter. Passion matter. Resting matter. Socks run fast in championship. Socks win. Doubt not. I'll cross my fingers and toes for you. What's fun to have toe? Enjoy while it lasts. Huh? Tell Turtle what socks say. I can only deliver letters, sadly. Could you write down what you said? No, take letter back. And tell Turtle what talk socks say. Talks? Talks? <laughs> sure, I guess. Bye, socks! Leave. Done talk. Weird. Okay, he wants us. Approach. Quiet. Fastly. What's happening? No big talky time. Worms listening. Worms? Socks run today. Daily run. Thanks for the context. This time, trash everywhere. Yuck. No yuck. Delicious. But now, danger. Worm hide in trash. Listen to Socks' private conversations. Illegal. Cannot allow. Destroy trash. Destroy worm. Comprende? Let me get this straight. There's trash all around. See? And you think there are worms living in the trash? Spying on you? No, only Socks. All grumbly wood. Public service whole forest. Socks need privacy. Socks know many dangerous secrets. Cannot risk data leak. Right, right. Of, of course, naturally. Five trash bits. Bring here. Socks dispose. Evidence gone. Happy end. Okay, I'll get you those five pieces of trash then. Leave. Return only with trash. Okay. He wants more? Hey, Socks. You got trash? I do. Oh, I do? I must have gotten it somewhere. Here you go. Finally. Deanna, useful. Thanks? It was a good idea to clean up the trash. The forest looks a lot nicer now, don't you think? Whatever. So, what are you going to do with the trash? First check for worm traces. After, destruct. Maybe swamp help. Wrap. <laughs> May wrap? Maybe swamp help. Rat owes me. But earlier sounded like you liked eating trash? Yes. Trash good flavor. Not good for socks long term. Especially not worm trash. Give socks stupid worm brain. <laughs> Why laugh? Socks never less than deathly serious. When trash gone, hunt new trash. Worm boss. Socks know he nearby. Socks smell him. Who's the worm boss? Better if Deanna not get involved. Socks only have one thing to say. Oh? Despite annoying, Deanna big help. That, that. Thanks. Oh, he said thanks to us. Aw. Oh. <laughs> now, never speak of this again. Of course, my lips are sealed. What socks just say? Oh, Deanna not big in brain department. Oh, socks. He told me to leave, okay? Okay. Well, we still have to find Kaz and deliver a message back to Donna. Uh, Socks is an interesting... Interesting dude. Oops. Okay, you see that in the back? That piece of trash? I want that. Or it's not trash. It's like glistening. Oh, we have to get that eventually. How do I get up there? Maybe I have to go on one of these. Oops. Okay, we've talked to this person. If we come up here... 
Ooh, there's a breeze. You see it? <gasps> okay, maybe we can use this to get over there. No! Am I not gonna make it? <gasps> oh, jeez. <gasps> oh, in the clouds patch! Oh. Like, I'm not sure if that helps because I didn't get up. Ah! I am under the water. Okay. I googled it because I'm a cheater. Sorry. But I've been walking around for so long trying to find Kaz. I couldn't take it anymore. So, I know where he is. But I do want to get that sparkling thing that I saw earlier. Ah, there it is. Not sure what it is. Maybe a gem? And that's the blue windmill. I was confused. I, for some reason in my head, it did not register that that is a windmill. <laughs> but they... Ooh. I got something in there. I have no idea. The lemon patch? Okay, this way. <laughs> Okay, one more try. Two more tries. In here. Whoa! <gasps> Look at this place. It's so cool. Whoa. <gasps> Shrooms! A shroom book? Whoa, this is cool. Can we get a mushroom sample? Yes, no, maybe sir. Okay, that's where we came out. <gasps> Mushroom sample! <gasps> Drawing. Whoa, lots of drawings. Whoa. <gasps> that's, um, swamp. <gasps> oh, socks. He's mad, as always. Wow, there's paintings of everyone in here. <gasps> Is this Kaz? My, my, my. That outfit. Oh, what's wrong with her outfit? It's ingenious! Oh, oh, thank you. Such a bold use of color. And that hair color with your hat parfait. Thank you, it matches. Oh, thank you, I chose it myself. Well, you must style me one day. The name's Cass. Oh, my name's Deanna. You have a letter from Ham. Ham! I know Swamp and him get along. My friend's friend is therefore my double friend. Or sworn enemy. Potentially true. But today, I choose to be friends. It only says your food shall become my food. Do you have a crumb of context for me? Oh, he's wondering what your favorite food is so he can try new things. Ah, pursuing the culinary arts. I would love to support this endeavor. One of my favorite foods is chocolate. What really elevates the chocolate, though, is coffee. Ooh, Kaz, you were right. I gladly drink coffee at any hour of the day, regardless of chocolate. So it might be a little because of that. Here, I have a piece of chocolate for you. And for coffee, I only have some beans right now. Chocolate and coffee, gotcha. You can just eat the beans, right? Well, yes, but then we're all set. Thanks, Kaz. Gotta run now. Gonna take this food combo to ham. Okay. Ooh, social butterfly patch. Woohoo! Kaz! Greetings! Uh, remember we've never met before. <gasps> what now? The super secret passcode? Oh, yeah, sure! Hello, fellow super spy. How's work progressing? Irene has sent me with a letter and wants a status report. Oh, mon dieu! My dear! It is not progressing in the slightest, I fear. What do I say? That you're done with the work? Oh, no, no, I could never outright lie to the commander. Oh. But you seem to have been quite busy. It's all trash. Trash, I tell you! Nothing worthy. Nothing perfect. Perfect? Why does it have to be perfect? I... What? It's just a work in progress, right? A sketch isn't immediately a finished piece. Well, I guess I do have more than enough sketches. See, that's not nothing. I'm pretty sure that's what we in the biz call something. Alright, fine. You can show this sketch to Irene. But please assure her the final products surely won't be like that. Don't worry, I'll be sure to remind her. I shudder at the thought of her judging eyes. Quick! Get that shoddy illustration out of my sight this instant. Ooh, Kaz's sketch. Ooh. 
fake money? <gasps> Are they money laundering? Well, what's going on here, guys? So, we've got several letters to deliver. Donna, the bat, forgot his name. Ham, and Irene. Boop, 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 boop. This way. What is his name? I have no clue. I've got some more samples. Oh, Toph! Toph, I remember now. Terrific! You've also unlocked another mushroom fact. Oh, please no. So far, they've only made me queasy. This one's not so bad, I promise. Okay, then. There's a type of mushroom that can't control your mind. Cordyceps mushrooms can infect an insect's body and control them to climb to the top of a tree. Isn't that just magnificent? Are we done here? I have to go cry and or scream. It's only natural, just like the turning of the tides. You can't fight the waves. Ne Neither can you fight the mind control mushrooms. I'm not comforted by this. That's okay. None of the ones on my list should have these effects. Should? Yeah, it's fine. Speaking of that list, there's more samples to gather. The wrinkled peach. Well, it looks a bit like a wrinkly peach. It likes to grow near lots of colorful flowers. There's the gold tuff, a yellow mushroom. For lack of a better word, I'd say it looks hairy, bumpy. They're usually in humid places and grow on wood. Okay, more samples. Can I change my hat? What do we have? Hmm. Nothing good. I'll stick with the purple. I'll stick with the purple. Okay, let's go. Oop. Let's go talk to Irene. Because she's on this rock over here. Reporting back after my long and arduous journey. Ah, recruit, you made it. How'd it go? It took a bit of convincing, but I've returned with a progress report. You managed to get your hands on one of his sketches? A rare sight. You must truly have a way with words, or some quick fingers. It took some convincing, and he told me to give you a disclaimer. Ah, Mundu, it is but a sketch and not representative of the final work. Something like that? Felt like I was back in that cave for a second. Final work this, masterpiece that. I don't think I've ever seen those elusive finished pieces he talks about. I knew it was risky working with him, but I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I do kind of want to see one of those masterpieces after all. Must really be something, the way he talks about it. You think so? I hope so. At least I have one reliable confidant. Swamp? No, I meant you. Ugh, I still don't know what to do with Swamp. He's eager to help. I know, I just don't know what to assign to him. One piece of advice. Working with friends is difficult. Maybe that's why Janet's like that. She just likes me so much. I'm sure that's what it is. Anyways, could you go deliver this to Swamp? I should at least keep him updated with our current progress. Aye aye, boss. Okay, letter to Swamp. Um, letter to Donna and letter to Ham. Let's go deliver to Donna. Because she's just right down here. I have a letter for you from Socks. Hey, this is my letter. Yeah, their message is mostly verbal. The gist of it was nothing matters as much as passion and rest. That's it? No trick to it? They did mention something about sleeping on your left side. But it wouldn't work. Sleeping on your left side? I haven't heard that one before. I'll start tonight. Shelby, that's not the point. Tricks aren't going to work. But I can't find some kind of solution, then I'm going to lose the race. No one will ever think I'm fast ever again. Then no one will remember me. There won't even be a speedy Shelby marketable plushie. And I'll just be washed up and forgotten. Hey, that's a bit pessimistic, isn't it? There's still lots of time to find your stride. Maybe Daisy can help me. But I'd hate for her to see me so insecure. Could you give Daisy this letter for me? And come back soon. I'll get my jog on. Jogging, running, the race. Oh, I'll never make it. Oh, I'll be back. Try not to spiral out of control. Spiral, loops, laps, the race. A rut row. Oh, poor Donna. She has gone herself in a pickle. Let us... Hmm, let's go to Ham first. Just because we have to cross... Cross the way. Cross the path? I don't know what it's called. We have to cross the large open area. <laughs> Swamp, I'm coming for you. Woo!
That was a long flight. <laughs> swamp, 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 swamp. Beep, beep, delivery for swamp with an A? That's not you, right? Well, I guess I can't deliver it then. No, 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 no. Gimme, gimme. Who's it from? Is it, you know, Intel of the secret variety? Ding, ding, ding. We've got a winner. Irene wanted to give you a progress update. A sketch from Kaz. How'd you get this? Intimidation? Threaten his shiny trinkets with some boom booms? What the heck is a boom boom? Some kind words never hurt anyone. Is Kaz in need of some cheering? They're in luck. I'm his biggest fan. I don't know about the first... I don't know the first thing about art. I just know that his colors always make me feel a little bit happy inside. They are very pretty. Like looking up at the twinkling stars. Oh, you just talk... <laughs> oh, you talk just like them. Like a poem. I don't understand him half the time, but I should visit them again sometime. Sadly, I'm not allowed to leave my post. Whatever shall I do? You can write, right? And you can deliver mail, correct? You can deliver mail! Wow, you come up with the most creative solutions. Well, could you go deliver this to Kaz? On a scale from yes to no, how secret is this intel? Huh? Never mind, got a blast! Oh, blasting! That I understand, blast away! It's like Jimmy Neutron. Got a blast. Okay, I forgot that we have to go to Ham as well. And oop, oop, oop. And to get to Ham, we have to fly across that thing up there. So I'm gonna go there real quick. I think this is my favorite biome. I just love the flowers and the picnic a lot. <laughs> like, I love the food. Okay, big hamster. So, what's Kaz's recommendation? A combo of chocolate and coffee. They said that you can just eat them as is. Let's pop them right in then. <laughs> you don't like them. It's okay, I guess. Bit all over the place. I don't know, this might be a bit wild for me. I think I need something more sensible. Oh, I know, Shelby! They seem sensible. Sem sensible. Sensible. In some ways, yes, I see it. Got a letter for her? Can't leave without a letter. Haha, <laughs> is that a real thing? I suppose I could go without a letter, but letters feel nice jiggling around in my backpack. Makes me feel busy. All right, a letter it is. Could you take this letter to Shelby, dear Scout? It would be an honor, dear Ham. Look at us, doing mail business. Who would have thunk? Not me, Scout. Not me. See you soon. <gasps> Bye, Ham. Okay, so we gotta go back to Shelby. That I did not prepare for. <laughs> but we'll go to Cats and Daisy first. Uh, is it this way or this way? Oh, it's this way. I was like, I knew there was a shortcut somewhere up here. I don't like socks. He's rude. He may look nice, but that is the face of pure evil. Goodbye, socks. Meow, 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 meow. Kaz! My dude, back so soon! Oh, no, no, no. I have not a lick of work to show this time. Over my cold feathers will I show another sketch. I get goosebumps from the word. Wouldn't that be crow bumps? Crow? I am not just a crow, but a raven. Behold my raven black feathers, not mere crow black. <laughs> We're like, uh, okay. I mean, besides all the paint, they're surely black. Anywho, I come from the swamps. Explains the smell. Unnecessary. Jesus, he is forward. Well, you smell like paint. I do? What happened to my light vanilla aroma with a touch of rose and lavender? Long gone. Anyway, I have a letter from Swamp. From the swamps. Can, he can write? <laughs> you expect him to draw you a picture? Well, he has before. I still have them hanging on my wall. Oh, they're BFFs. Oh, <laughs> they're so pure and intuitive. I wish I could grasp some of that curiosity. The colors always make me feel a bit happy inside. Did you help him write this? That he wrote himself. Oh, mon petit. What? I don't speak French. Mon petit joyeux rot. <laughs> the colors also make me happy inside. Then why not just paint the colors? A masterpiece can come second. I think I would like to try that. Well, it surely ain't a masterpiece, but I don't think it has to be. That's the spirit. You should trot along and show it to Irene before I get the doubts. I think in the meantime, I might go paint some more colors. Okie dokie. Smell you later. Hey. <gasps> what did we get? An empty check. 
Are we... Are we, um... Are we, uh... Uh, uh... You know, doing something with fake money? Are we doing something with some fake monies? Do do do. Let's go to Daisy now since she's here at the farm as well. Whoa, 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 that waterfall. <laughs> Daisy! Daisy, Daisy! There you are! The final competitor. You have a letter from Shelby! Oh, how is she? She's so excited about the race. Aw, I always love getting Shelby's notes. Bless my soul, the poor thing has worked themselves into a tizzy over some running. I didn't know she was so worried about the race. Yeah, they seemed pretty stressed. I think she sees me as some kind of idol. That, I'm some kind of natural, but growing up, I was the slowest. All 12 of my siblings were faster than me. When I came here, I managed to find the fun in running again. I hope she'll be able to do that soon as well. Here, let me a pen- Let- Huh? Oh, <laughs> I read that totally wrong. Let me pen a quick response. Could you please give this to Shelby? I don't want this tearing her up a moment longer. No problem, Miss D. <gasps> you got it, Miss D. Two letters for Shelby. On our way. Boop, 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 boop. Shelby. Hey there, speedy Shelbs. Back, back, back again. Is that a track race reference? I'm back, back, back again. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I've been feeling a bit down. Please tell me you have some good news from Daisy. Here's her letter. She was really worried about you. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Being fast isn't all there is to life. You should run to have fun. You're enough just as you are. Oh, Daisy. This is almighty kind, but I just don't see the point anymore. I think I'm going to throw in the towel. There's no way I'll win that race anyway. Hang on. There's another letter in here. It's a blank page. Oh, wait. It says something here. Could I please have the autograph of the first turtle track star ever? Oh no, I'm gonna cry. Well, sign it before... Uh, well, sign it first before you cry. I can't deliver a soggy autograph to Daisy. Don't worry, Scout. I'll deliver this one. That way I can get some extra training in. Thanks for sticking around when I got the sads. Of course, no one should be sad alone. Does that mean it's the end of the sads? Hopefully, Scout. Hopefully. Take care, little Scout. Run fast. You too, Shelby. Oh wait, one last thing. Now that your brain is out of sport mode, have you got any idea where Greg might be? Oh, that's the one you were asking about earlier, right? I've had a good old thinky think since then, to no avail, sadly. I vaguely remember hearing about a Greg some years back, but where they are now, no clue. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, little scout. It's okay, it was worth asking. <laughs> one more letter for you, Shelby. Hey there, Shelbs. Oh, hi. To what do I owe this visit? You have a letter from Ham. From Ham? Didn't think he was a fan. Oh, he isn't. What does that mean with, I must taste what you taste? Yeah, he's not the clearest. But basically, he's wanting to try people's favorite food combos. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Okay, cake, but with what? Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that, dummy. Oh, she called us dummy. As you may or may not know, you become a little for... You become a bit forgetful when you are a famous athlete, see? To keep my physique, I can only eat foods that make me go fast. Ergo, fast foods only. Makes sense. It's right there in the name. Precisely. My favorite food combo is french fries dipped in pickle juice? Miss Shelby, no. <laughs> Respectfully, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Speechless. Yeah, it's earth shattering, not gonna lie. Here, I have some leftovers from last night. You can pass him along to Ham. Thanks, Shelby. I'll be sure to get this into that mouth of his. That's the idea, yes. Don't miss. I'll do my best. Bye-bye. Toodles. That is disgusting, Miss Thing. Okay. Oh. She doesn't have anything for us anymore? Okay, she had a alert, but I guess not. Ta-da! Shh! What's this? A masterpiece from Cass? I assume it's up to your standards in that case. It's better than I dared hope. How did you... I think you should promote Swamp to Team Mascot. He really managed to lift some spirits. Oh, I knew those two got along. I should have let them work together. I was scared Swamp would distract Kaz. Maybe not everyone is as self-reliant as me. No need to be self-reliant with friends like these. They just want to make this work just as bad. Oh, they want to make this work just as badly as you. Even if they weren't as sure how, even if they weren't as sure how to go about it as you. By the way, all this very non-secret intel, what's it all for? You're not liable if you're unaware. 
I'm not sure that's how the law works. That's okay, I avoid working with the law. Wait, what? How strict is your relationship with the law? I always take a sip from Janet's drink when she makes me get it for her. Oh, you're a real scoundrel. How do you feel about male-related crimes? The worst kind. Worse than stealing a sip? Yeah, probably. Worse than being greedy? Is stealing a sip greedy? Maybe a bit unsanitary, but it's for survival. Yeah, then greed is probably worse. What were we talking about again? Swamp Kaz and I have made a letter for that cat. He's a very greedy cat. And we thought we should lighten his pockets a little. Oh, like stealing? Shh! Let's say we're taking a sip from his wallet. It's for our survival and he's still got the whole cup. And he's also made other people get his drink. He didn't make it himself. Oh! Ooh, we're stealing? We're stealing from Kiki. So if you could just deliver this letter to Kiki the cat real quick, that'd be grand. On it, boss! <gasps> we're stealing! Kiki! Urgent delivery for Mr. Cat. From the bank of, uh, the bank of Grovewood. Grumble. Bank? Give me that. Hmm, hmm, blah, blah, blah. Deposit waiting for me. You got a pen for me, kid? I'm a male scout. Actually, whatever, whatever. Got a pen or not? Don't think so. Ugh, of course. Let me check to be sure. Behold, a marvel of engineering, a stick of ink. Give me that. Name, banking number, check card, expiration date, uh, check mother's maiden name, first pet name. Okay, that should be it. <gasps> this guy needs to take like a male fishing 101 class. Make sure to get this back to the bank safely. It's an important deposit. A deposit to me is always top priority. Uh, will do. Could I have my pen back? I never specified how long I'd be borrowing it. First rule of business, always read the fine print. But you said it out loud. There wasn't any fine print to read. Well, in that case, finders keepers. And I found this pen in my hand just now. Stole it from Janet, anyway. I'll, uh, go deliver this back to the bank right away. You better. No dilly-dallying on the clock. Make haste. <gasps> We've earned the crime prevention patch. I don't think we prevented any crime, though. If anything, I think we... Committed a crime. Yeah, I think we we committed a crime. Back to Irene. Whatever crime you're committing to that cat, he deserves worse. Don't worry, we're hitting him where it hurts. Nothing he values more than being his big self and his big capital. I think you should just hit him next time. I'd also be satisfied with a kick. But you got him to sign? Didn't take much convincing. He smelled money and basically stopped listening after that. Not that he was listening before that anyway. I owe you big time. Just so happens I recently came into some wealth. So let me know if you ever need anything. Oh, don't worry. Us male scouts get adequately compensated in friendship. And secret missions, of course. Speaking of our operation, I guess that's the mission officially completed. Cool. I've never completed a mission before. We should go deliver the good news. Could you please go deliver this letter to Kaz? And I think I should just go to talk... To talk, blah, 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 talk to Swamp by myself. I just want to be his friend again. No more work. I'm sure he'd love to see you and hear all about your, our operation. I'll go check on Kaz. Good luck and have fun. <gasps> Yay! Well, we officially stole. <laughs>